Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday, April 10th, and it's my mom's birthday. So I wanted to say happy birthday to my mom. God bless you. And we're praying that you have many, many more years of life and that God will continue to bless you always. At this time, let's have our 777 prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for another day of life. We thank you for the blessings, and I just want to say thank you for my mother's birthday. As we study your lesson today, I just pray that we continue to learn more about you so that we can apply it to our life today. In your name we pray. The title today is Choosing a Life Partner. If you're supposed to choose your friends carefully, you must be even more careful when it comes to choosing your future spouse. Adam was very blessed that God designed his life companion with his own hands and from within himself. Adam's choice was easy since Eve was not just the only woman, but the perfect woman. The rest of us have a little bit more of a difficult time since none of us is perfect and have many more people to choose from. Because this, this, uh, because this decision is so important, God has not left us without guidance in this area of our lives. Besides all the important steps we looked at in Monday's lesson, there are some more specific steps to follow in the whole question of marriage. We will look at the whole question of marriage more carefully in lesson six. Indeed, outside the choice to serve the Lord, the question of a spouse will almost always be the most consequential choice anyone makes in their life. Besides looking for the right person to marry, be the right person first. Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them, for this is the law of the prophets. Someone could find a great potential spouse who has all the qualities one would want, but if the one who wants good qualities and the other lacks them, him or herself, problems will arise. This is not new, and is certainly seen not only in marriage but in life in general. Paul spends a great deal of time in the opening of Romans talking to those who condemn others for doing what they, the ones condemning, are also guilty of. Or, as Jesus said, And why do you look to the speck in the, your brother's eye, but do not consider the plank in your own eye? How often do you find yourself wishing others, your spouse perhaps, had traits that in fact you lacked yourself? Think about it. And that concludes our lesson today. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.